Hello, my name is Max Garval. And I'm Zach Hatzis. And this is our final project for Embedded Systems. Would you like to take it away? Sure. So um, what we made was a pedometer, um, a step counter, that basically uses the accelerometer on the board to count steps and display each consecutive step on the LCD display and um, is also able to distinguish between walking and running and show that on the LEDs on the board. So um, I started with one of the example files that interfaces with, with the accelerometer and I modified it to get it so that all three axes were working um, and changed it so that we were just getting the raw data. Um, then I defined a structure for integer cues and made an instance for all three of the axes um, each queue had like a defined length in the header file and each loop of the main function, it would just in queue, um, the piece of data that it got for each, um, sensor. And once the queue was full, it would compare the head of the queue against every other value in it, um, against some pre predefined threshold value. And if it exceeded that, um, when you took the difference between the head and every single other one checking for any any two that met that threshold, it would count that as a step um, increment, like a global step variable, and then just use like some simple arithmetic logic to um, separate out a four digit number into digits that can be displayed. All right. And a uh, part that I largely uh, headed was the actual LEDs displaying whether you were walking, running, or neither. So there are two LEDs on the board. There's the green LED and the red LED. So when uh, no steps were being detected at all, then it would uh, just show no LEDs. And once you started walking, it would start showing green LEDs. And if it started detecting that you were running, going at a faster pace, it would turn red instead. And the way this was implemented was with interrupts primarily, so that it would be uh, much smoother because at first it was incredibly jittery and would constantly change and turn off and on and it, it looked a little spastic. So by using interrupts with a bit of a longer delay time and using a couple other logic tricks in order to ensure that um, once the light turns on it stays on for a while so that it looks smooth and it doesn't turn off and on too quickly, uh, we got it looking nice. And that is how we implemented our pedometer. All right. Nice. Hello. So now to demonstrate our pedometer, as you can see over here, it has a step value, but we're going to reset that and reset it to zero. And then as I take steps, one, two, three, four, you can see the green light lights up, seven, eight, nine, ten. And if you look, 10 steps. And of course, if I start running, it'll light up red. Little did he know that it was not in fact turning red. He would have to step outside in order to run fast enough for this board to tell. I decided to move outside to demonstrate running because I was having limited movement on the inside, but now I can show you that if I start running, I don't know how well you can see that, but it's turning red.